Hey everyone and cheers to Chai Tea Tuesday. Really quick, we are gonna be talking all about health and fitness in normal life, like real life and the pageant world as well with the one and only Susie Castillo. She'll be joining us in two seconds, but first I wanted to do the shout out of the week. Every single week I shout out someone from the previous week that left a comment below. So make sure you comment on this video. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me read that out real quick. Last week, the question of the week was, who do you wanna see in my next video? Here is one of the most popular answers. A lot of people said this. I'm reading Lee Lore. She said, I would love to see you do a video with Catriona Gray, Ali Gonzalez, I loved her at Miss USA, that's what she said, so did I. Uh, your husband and or maybe your beautiful mom. So I love all of those suggestions. So many people said Catriona, so many people said Ali. I will try my best to get both of them on Chai Tea Tuesday at some point, but today, we have Susie Castillo and we were talking all about health and fitness in real life and the pageant world. And cheers! cheers. To Chai Tea Tuesday. Chai Tea Tuesday. Neither of us have Chai Tea today, but that's okay. No. It's water. totally fine. <laughs> well, water and matcha. So speaking of healthy things, Yum. let's talk about health and fitness. Let's talk I'm about it. I'm so excited to have you here because Susie and I will often talk about the cool recipes that you do. Mm -hmm. I always look up Susie's hashtag. It's Hashtag Suze Eats. Suze Eats, yeah, which yeah, is my, I'll, my nickname. I'll put Suze. it down here. I'm always looking up your recipes on Yay. like how to do things that are meatless, even though I do eat meat, but yeah. you don't. So I'm like, oh, I want to be Meatless Monday or I whatever do. it is. I know. I am a big Meatless Monday person. Yes. Um, I used to post like recipes pretty much almost every Meatless Monday. Yep. Um, and then I started using the hashtag Suze Eats. Yep, I love it. Because people always were interested and I thought, okay, well, let me make it easier for them to find my healthy recipes. Yes. And then started my blog, right, my which website. Right, even easier to find all her recipes. Yes. So you know all the things. We'll yeah. get into the pageant stuff in just a little bit, but just for regular life, like regular what life. do you like to do to, because you don't work out like super intensely, right? I don't. I did start trying to work out every single day, like okay. trying, well, not every single day, y'all. But like, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> let's be super Same. honest. And yeah. Real. Five days okay. a week, right? Mm -hmm. So like last week, you'd be very proud of me, Nia. I worked out, I did three classes of Pure Bar last oh, week. Oh, dang. Cray, cray. Yes. I am sore right now. And I just got new running shoes. Okay. Because running is so good for you. Like, <sighs> if you don't have any knee issues or anything. Right. I like, think it's good for the soul and your body. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're a podcast person like me, I love popping in a good Same. podcast. Mm -hmm. And just going for a nice run. Like, two miles, you know? If yep. I'm not feeling it, like, yeah. you know, maybe I'll do a mile and a half. But it's yeah. still good. And then I'll go home and do some push-ups, some dips for my tries. Good. Um, abs. Like, simple stuff. I'm impressed. Girl, it just started. Long walks. It okay. just started. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm working out super intensely every day and I'm also eating pizza like every other day. So. Oh, see? Yes. But when you eat, okay, so here's the thing. Very important trick that I learned from my nutritionist when I was living in New York City. I met this awesome nutritionist, Natalia Rose. You mm -hmm. guys should check out her book. So she said when you're eating properly, you uh -huh. don't have to work out as hard Which as you is true. think you do. Yeah, 100% So like true. you're working out hard because it sounds I'm just like, trying to maintain. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to maintain because you're, it sounds like your diet isn't amazing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Except for this week, I'm starting new. I'm doing like a whole like healthy vlog. Blog, trying good. to like be good all week. Yay. So what's like one of your favorite tips just for everyday life? I think the first thing that pops into my mind is what I do first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. which is I heat up some water mm -hmm. to have water with lemon, like fresh lemons. So there are always, healthy. always lemons mm -hmm. in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. So cut it in half, have my little lemon squeezer and I squeeze the juice of half of a fresh organic yep. lemon into warm water. You can do it into tea if mm -hmm. you want. Like I love ginger, lemon ginger tea. Oh, it is so good um, for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a good way to kind of flush out your system and start your day. And, yeah, it's so good. Mine's kind of on the same lines, mm -hmm. which I feel like we should, gotta change it up a little bit, but I have really recently been told I need to drink a lot more water. Yeah. So just in life, like mm -hmm. stay super, super hydrated, I'm like, my back is jacked up and everything. So I've been going sure. to the chiropractor and the massage therapist there finds these pressure points. She's like, this is a dehydration point. You're dehydrated, drink more water. Oh my God. So drink water, lots and lots of water. I feel like it just helps everything function properly yeah. if you're also eating healthy on yes. top of that. But I love yours. I also throw apple cider vinegar in oh, my amazing. hot water, lemon, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. It's just like, woo, starts your body right. It really does. And if you, you. want to add a little um, sweetness to it, you can do honey, organic honey. Exactly. Too. Oh my gosh. Make your own little tonic, some turmeric. You yeah. can add some turmeric in there. So as much good stuff. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. and it works best with pepper. So if you oh. can actually do some fresh crushed pepper I'm about in there to do too. all of that. Yeah, a lot of times like if you look up um, turmeric supplements, mm -hmm. um, you'll often find it, it has pepper, pepper. in it. Ooh, because mm -hmm. they I look like really good together. 
you mentioned honey yeah and you told me you have a tip and trick that you give to pageant girls i do and yes. i actually so when you're competing interviewing yes. all the things it's mm -hmm. also good for you what is it yes so before you go into interview ladies so here's what i do and it's so funny i actually have an empty container of I my little it. honey that I had this morning before I had an audition and my ah. mouth was feeling a little dry. Yeah. So I ran to my kitchen and I grabbed these organic, I, I'm not being paid to plug this company. Me neither. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'll try to Me find them and tag them for you. Yeah. I'll try. Yeah. Um, I think you can find them on Amazon. Okay. I got them at some stores. Organic honey. I've heard of pageant girls like just eating some candy before. Right. Mm -hmm. Like if they're mm -hmm. pageant weekend and they're feeling sluggish and they feel right. like they need a little pick me up like right. a little energy they'll, they'll eat candy and yeah. i'm like girls don't eat candy have mm. organic honey like it's good well, for it's, you good for your vocal cords good for yeah, everything it's a healthier source of sugar yes. and energy if you if you're looking for it and like an added plus like i did it today not because i needed energy i did the honey because because my mouth was feeling a little dry yeah it and still you is do not want that you're like I know. You need more of that water. But it was, I know, but it was perfect today before my okay. audition. So that's, that's a cool, like, secret that I've too. never heard of before. Yeah. Ever. That's it works. So good. I good. Like I said, I still use it. Yay. I had a few girls on Instagram ask me, how do you stay healthy and fit when you're traveling a lot? Mm. If they're competing for a pageant, but they have work or whatever, and they're all over this summer. So yeah. even if you're with family, like, going out to dinners, I think preparing, even if you're going out to dinner with friends, like... I would eat a full meal in advance when yeah. I was competing so that when I went out to dinner, I could order just like a side of vegetables or something because I was already full, but sure. I still want to eat like something, something. When, when you're there. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my things is to eat before I go out with friends and then with traveling, just like try to have healthy snacks on you. What yeah. do you think? Any just like pageant tips and tricks. There's so much 100%. when it comes to pageants. Oh my gosh. I, I know guys have videos on pageantology. I'll link. Itchology. I will link few of those below because I've seen some yeah. videos you guys have talked about like health and fitness yeah we have in yeah. the past lately it's been more like the the recaps pageant recaps. yes uh yeah we got all those going oh on you got those I got those Sierra Miss Canada I'm like yeah. they are the thing right now I know yeah pageant we, we love our pageants yes um, no, you know, when I travel, I actually make meals, especially because mm. oftentimes, I mean, I'm, my family lives in Boston. Mm -hmm. Um, I go to New York for work a you lot. You do. You showed me a picture of the meals that you were preparing yeah. when you were getting on a plane. That's I so smart. I full on make like vegetable quinoa bowls and yeah. I season them really well and I put them in a big bowl. In fact, TSA, I got flagged oh because gosh. they were like, what the heck is that in her carry-on bag? Why are you bag? bringing a full meal like, in your bag? Yeah. I'm like, it's my quinoa. <laughs> I love it. And I make enough usually to so that my husband Matt and I can both eat it. It's it's a lot. It's protein. So. It's veggies. It's mm -hmm. healthy. It's I usually filling. Do super filling. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do roasted broccoli, carrots. Mm -hmm. I'll do garbanzo beans, that quinoa. So yummy. I yeah. It's it's usually really really yummy. My so goal is to be like Susie one day when it comes to food. <laughs> but you can't do that in a pageant though. You can't make. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would last a day. Right. But especially like if you're on the road, like I know me, if I'm going to the airport, I don't want to grab the giant bag of Cheez-Its. Exactly. But I do 90% of the time sure. because I'm like, oh, I'm hungry and you I didn't bring any ahead. food. Yeah. So those, when you're like, oh, what am I going to do? Just prep, like prep and prepare. Is it's so It'll important. save you every time mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. then you won't be reaching for a, bag, a little bag of Doritos or the complimentary mm -hmm, like crappy mm -hmm. food that they give you on on yes. planes, you I know, because I'm a sucker for it and I do it all the time. I know. Listen, all it the tastes time. good. I get it. So good. Mm -hmm. Any other pageant tips and tricks that maybe a newer pageant girl or just someone that hasn't been in the game for a while might not know yeah. or think of? I feel like you can get those booty bands that you wrap around like your knees and you can do workouts at home or yeah. on the road. Same with those like stretchy bands. You don't have to have weights. You can just pack those some bands. Great. And also, you and I both worked out with John Benton. Fitness. Yes! He's freaking fantastic. And he works with pageant girls. He does. He's mm -hmm. unreal. And so one of the tricks that I learned from John is you, could, you don't even have to pack it. Like if I'm in a hotel Mm -hmm. you could use the washcloths to yes. put underneath your feet to In do the like squat slide yeah to yeah. do the slide yeah what do you call those things the, the tabletop the plank position <laughs> with the washcloths yes at the ends of both my feet like yes. one on each foot and mm -hmm. i slide uh -huh. or slide it forward like there's lots of stuff you can do yes. in the hotel room john benton i'll put a link below for that too we both yes. have done his workouts mm -hmm. he's amazing and it's literally most of his workouts are no equipment workouts so yeah. you can do them anywhere and yeah. everywhere it's that workout yeah. yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else that really really stuck out to me when i was training for pageants overall yeah. in general i ate a lot but some girls don't know what the yeah. right way is and they just eat less to try to get 
skinnier. I mm -hmm. ate five to six meals a day. I had a gallon of water every single day. Amazing. Uh, oh, one of my things was make sure you're sore every day, at least five days a week, because when you're sore, your body is building lean muscle and it's burning off fat when you're just resting. So if you do a good cardio workout, but you're not doing anything for your muscles, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a little thinner maybe, but yeah. you wanna be toned and sexy on stage. You don't for wanna sure. be skinny. Work I those agree. muscles and you have to have a little bit of soreness because it you then you're like doing your body is doing the work when you're rested, so yeah. it's more beneficial that way. For sure, and having a little more muscle will help you burn more fat. Exactly. So like when you, the next day, or mm -hmm. in the weeks leading up to your pageant, you're gonna be able to burn more fat because you have a little more muscle. Exactly. Muscle tone is always good, it looks healthy. So good, I work out this morning, and the girl was like, you need to do more weights. I was like, yes okay. I do. <laughs> I have been doing a lot of cardio lately, this is true, but I had a, an amazing workout, but there were yeah. weights in it too, I was like, oh, Sure, I need but this. you know, don't underestimate the your own body weight, right? Yes. We can mm -hmm. use our own body weight oh, to do sure. high rep stuff. Oh yeah, you know, absolutely. Squats, Which we're going with John Benson. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's one of yep. the beautiful things about John is that he really helps you use your own body yeah, weight. You learn how to. Yeah, which yeah. you know, you got it. Use it. Use it. Use, use it. what your mama gave you. Mm -hmm. Yay! I feel like that's a lot of good information. We packed into good. like ten minutes. And obviously, both me and I coach girls. Yes. So if you need help and you're a newbie, you need some help Sissy. getting into it. You we know, we got gotcha. you. We've been there, done that. We have. I don't think we even mentioned it. Susie, former Miss USA, oh, yeah. 2003. Three. Yes. Yay. And Miss USA 2014. And we both live in LA. We're both Latinas and yeah. all of the things. <laughs> so I'm going to put our Instagrams here too if I haven't already done it. And you can follow Susie and follow me and follow along with our life journeys and then, yeah. you know, pageant coaching and all the other things we do. Yeah. Yay. All right. Thanks, Bye. guys. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.